The sheet pan dinner is a relatively quick dinner to make that is cooked entirely on sheet pans and eaten with toothpicks. And it is good for an evening when you have an hour or a little less to make dinner before everybody needs to eat. The starch base of this dinner is a type of potato. You can use gold potatoes or red potatoes. We use red potatoes here because Nancy D wanted them and they are really pretty, aren't they? And these roasted with olive oil and sprinkled with salt are reminiscent of french fries and always a popular, popular starch side in my home. Smoked sausage or Polish sausage is something that I always looked forward to when my mom made it when I was a little girl. She often made it with baked beans all baked together, which is really good. This application is also really nice. And the sausages are roasted with onions, which kind of take a caramelized flavor on the edges and they get soft. And although not all of my kids are crazy about the onions, some of them pick around them. So onions are one of those things that we've worked for quite a few years to accept in my home. The kids um, don't sometimes like the texture when they're cooked, but cooked onions are the foundation of just about everything when you're cooking. They are worth just sticking around for and keeping up with the um, exposure and reminding kids that they are going to be a good flavor component and maybe they don't want to eat them in big pieces and maybe you do need to cut them up into little little pieces but anyway they're worth it when making these little accommodations if you have picky kids i hate using the term picky but if your kids are selective eaters and you have issues with them saying that they don't like things which I, we have definitely had it's nice to sometimes separate things out a little bit so that they can choose to put them together and then they can make the discovery on their own that yes, this is good and it's not something that they're kind of forced into doing. I love pesto and this sauce celebrates its springy brightness um, by adding a little bit of extra lemon juice to kind of brighten the flavor. It is a really nice sauce that you can use to dip the cheese and tomatoes in for this dinner. My kids really prefer to have sauces on the sides, like they'd rather have the the dressing for the salad on the side. So the apples with caramel sauce are probably the universal favorite among 75% of my kids. Um, they are really yummy and uh, who doesn't like salted caramel sauce? You could just eat it without the apples, but the apples give it something, something to be dipped in it they make it healthier. <laughs> if you toss the apples with a little bit of lemon juice, um, if you're not eating like immediately, that will prevent them from browning, which is something that my family appreciates. And although you could make your own caramel sauce, I like to just buy caramel sauce because I live by a Trader Joe's and they make a really good variety of it. So a little extra salt on top is pretty and so when you serve this dinner, you could serve everything individually on the plates, but I like to serve the um, primary parts of it, the sausages and the potatoes on the plate, and then put the other things on serving trays and everybody can kind of choose for themselves. So I hope you'll try this dinner. Find the recipe at dinnerinrealtime.com and in my book, 20, 40, 60 Minute Dinners, Meals to Match the Time You Have.